Uh, uh. Oh. Why, I, man? Why are you moving like molasses, man? I walk pretty fast. But I just get in tent slow. Ooh. I don't like There's molasses. There's no urgency getting in the tent, man. There's urgency getting out. You never out. know who's watching. All right? That's why I'm in a tent. But you at a 7-Eleven. Anyway, I've been doing some research. On YouTube. Oh, one day. Yeah. It's YouTube, man. Yeah. Do you think mm -hmm. the Illuminati mm. runs the entertainment industry? I'm not really buying it, man. It's just played out at this point. Everybody would be like, it's the Illuminati, man. I'm telling you. It's... I'm not really buying it no more. You think it's played out, but when you have people in the industry saying that there's stuff going on, you don't think that these elites are making things happen? They controlling their Geppetto with the Pinocchio I mean, puppets? You I mean, they yeah, are? they have some power and influence, but to just ha give it up to an almighty Illuminati, they pulling all the strings and every string? Nah, I'm not really, I'm not sold on it. But man. not every string, but the main strings are making guys bigger, or if you want to get bigger, or what are you willing to do? Well, I, I look, I look at Hollywood like this, man. You got certain people that are willing to sleep their way to the top. You got certain people in power that are win, willing to offer you a chance to sleep with you or use you in a certain kind Casting, of way. I believe that, you know, you got people that's making it on their own steam through hard work and connections. Okay. You got people faking the funk. They're just good networkers. Mm -hmm. And so if you're good to work with, you know, word gets around, you can come up that way. Mm -hmm. So it's just all kind of ways you can come up in Hollywood. And, yeah, there's certain people that if they rock with you, they rock with you. Yeah. Like, they, Hollywood be forcing people on us all the time. Like, yo, this is the next hot guy. Let's give him, like, mad movies. Yeah. And the people, the people decide who's hot. They, they, they got people that The industry can yeah, they, throw yeah, a guy at, in your face all the time, but if them box office numbers ain't matching up, then... They're getting them out of there. Exactly. I agree. I agree to a point. I do think the Illuminati definitely has some type of power to push people, because they got the machine behind them. Yeah. Which is like, whether it's music, like, they can, if they want to push you... If they want, like, when we, you know, we, when we talked about, you know, dumbing down music, mm -hmm. I think that was part of the Illuminati. I think the Illuminati had some type of thing where it came to, like, yo, we need people to act a certain way or be a certain way. And they, they put the machine behind a particular type of artist. And was, was like, you look at, you always look at, even if we go back to hip hop, you look at conscious hip hop, mm -hmm. they wasn't putting the machine behind conscious hip hop like that. Like, they not used to. Not super tough. They used to. Because Public, it, Public it, Enemy was the hottest rap act for a minute. Until they found out how much influence music has. Right. And they were like, oh, we can push it a certain way. That's when they're like, yo. I feel like that's the government, not really the Illuminati, though. How you know the government ain't part of the Illuminati? No, I mean, it could, it could be. But like, all that is over to the right. We, we get that. All right, I understand. Mm -hmm. But the Illuminati, man, what about all the pagan rituals, man? Worshipping owls, Bohemian Grove, man, out here worshipping, killing... I mean, touching children, underage children, supposedly. Wait, Adam Jones got video, man. Bill Clinton even joked around about it. Like, this is real. Bohemian Grove is a real thing. That's not a fake Wait, thing. Wait, they touching children now? They out here supposedly sacrificing children, touching children. What the hell? Now, hold on now. They sacrificing children? They sacrificing more. A, a bunch of things. They sacrificing children. That's, that's what people are saying about it. I'm not buying that. That's ridiculous. Hey man, so it's a I bunch of rich people like yeah, they holding babies up over the volcano and dropping. It's a thing in. that rich people actually meet. It's, it's confirmed that they actually meet their years. It's oil tycoons, the highest, strongest people in the media, the Bushes, Clinton, billionaires. This is a real thing. This ain't just me making this up. I don't know, man. How you don't know? It's, if it's not a real ridiculous, thing? man, to be sacrificing kids out here. What do you mean? If these are orphans too, that nobody knows who the parents are. You think they give a shit? I don't know, man. These are real. These are real rituals that people would are talking you, would you about. Did you add the ritual? Hey, man. Did you get I can't, in there? I can't say that. And so you won't hear about none of my YouTube experiences again. Okay. Do you, do you know who Alex Jones is? No. All right. He's a crazy son of a bitch. Uh -huh. But he actually got video of a uh, of a mock ceremony in Bohemian Bay. So it was a mock ceremony. I mean, that's just what he got a chance to see. So if it's a mock ceremony, it's not real. Hey, man. To kill a mockingbird. I don't know what that even means. But at the end of the day, they doing some crazy weird stuff in there. And these are billionaires, man. When there's that much money involved, that's called, they can manipulate any person. What's your price, dog? What's I mean, my price? Chappelle, Chappelle, Chappelle talked about it. Chappelle talked about it all the time. That's why, you know, the whole going after thing. What's your price? Are you willing to sell your soul? Hmm? You asking me right now? Absolutely. I don't know what my price is, man. So you got one. I don't know. Oh, you mother. 
I don't, I don't I don't know if I do or not. I'm not gonna say, man. I ain't got no prize. Then somebody like, yo, Tony, we gonna give you a hot two billion dollars. What if we just fill on your booty for like five minutes and record it? Two billion dollars. Because like, supposedly, supposedly in some of these rituals, fill on my booty with gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. But suppo- like, supposedly in some of these rituals, right? When they want the the celebrity. To, that that wants to, to quote unquote be a super mega star or whatever like that. Uh-huh. They make them do something insane, crazy, and they record it for like blackmail. Mm. And it's like, yo, you do this, you did this already, all right? This mm-hmm. this this ritual, whatever. But now when you try to go out left field and be like, nah, I ain't with this no more. I think we should be starting doing this. Remember that video? Remember that video? We got a you sucking some penis or something like that. Mm. Hey, you want that out? You saying you suppose you got all these female uh, fans? There ain't gonna be no female fans no more. Mm-hmm. You know, that suppose they, suppose fame, they, yeah, suppose they be recording these guys doing stuff like that for the the huge huge price of fame or something like that or some crazy religious. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say I got a price. I tell you what, my price is not twenty thousand. That's not my price. Because I was offered to do something weird. So you was offered 20, by the Illuminati? I was offered to do something weird for $20,000. What? Yeah. By the I, Illuminati? I don't know who it was. It, it, to me, it was just a creepy dude in the, in the BBM. Was he, Hold on. Was he an old white guy? No, he's a young black dude. He's no! Just a black dude. One I'm of just, us? I'm just saying, man. God damn it. They offered me twenty k to just jerk off. In front of them. My agenda was it was only all old white men. Now black people in this shit. Yeah, they out here. God man. damn it. Yeah, I turned it down. So I know I'm I'm not okay. 20k. Scratch all that. What was the favor? Huh? What was the favor? What was the favor for 20 G's? And why did he think 20 G's would even like was you like, yo man, I'm out here desperate for that bread. Man. That, that, but like, that's what that, that was the angle. Like, all right, I see you out here trying to come up as a comedian. You know, we got this little talent thing. Give you 10K. I was like, oh, I'm down for that. And it was like, would would you jerk off in front of me? Not even me. He was saying, would you do it for 10K? And I was like, no, nah, wait, what's going on here? What about the competition? You wait, 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 wait. Did, was he hitting you with the, now I got to know. Was, did he hit you? Did that come out of left field? Was you like, Yeah, no. it came out of left field because when he hit me, he said, we got a talent competition with up and coming talent. 10K is the prize. Are you interested? I was like, yes. Absolutely. Let's get it. And he was like, all right, holler at me in the BB, in the BBMs or the BMs, whatever Blackberry had at yeah, the time, yeah, Blackberry yeah. Messenger. I was like, cool. I slid over there and he was like, yeah. And he was like, but how open-minded are you? I was like, uh, you know, just, I mean, I'm not going to be eating spiders and nothing like that. I, I'm thinking he's on some Fear Factor type stuff. He's like, no, 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 but how open-minded are you? That's a slick and way I was to like, man, what are you shit. talking about? I got heated immediately. Like, what are you talking about? And he was like jerking off in front. I was like, whoa, what? No, no. For 20000 And I was like, he, he kept raising the price. He was like, all right, how about fifteen? And I was like, nah, man. Nah, what, but, what, I, but I was still interested in the talent show if that was a real thing. You, you kept know? going back to Just the talent show? the talent show. <laughs> he was like, all right, but all right, so, uh, you know, 20K. I was like, what, and what kind of per, what kind of weirdo Want somebody to jerk off in front of them. He was like, me, I'm the weirdo. And I was like, ah. Oh, he said that? Yes. And I was like, ah, nah, man. Did he nah. want did he want you to finish? Like he wanted you to go, who the I'm true. I don't know. I didn't get that far into the, you know, I was just like, nah, that's not for me. I'm good. And he was like, oh, well, we can pay you if you refer some other comedians to come do it. And I was like, nah. <laughs> come jack off. <sighs> if, oh my goodness. If you would have if you would have hit anybody else you knew. And that money was that money, man. That's good money. Twenty. I mean, all right. especially for something I do for free. I've been doing it for free for years. You gotta see. See, wait, this is where you messed up at. You need to ask more details. You could just say, "Yo, am I just gonna jack off to the pants like this? If I'm gonna do one of these right there, that's easy work. Twenty G's for that? It's the ah, and you ain't gotta finish either. I'm like, yo, I ain't gotta finish. But the, but that, that's not my. I wouldn't have felt right after. That's the that, that's what I'm saying. Like I know. I know my price ain't that. Everybody got like a limit. Illuminati need to raise their goddamn prices. Twenty thousand is flat out disrespectful. But I'm nobody. I don't. This give was a sh- years ago. I'm I don't nobody. Give a, I don't give a sh- who y'all. This is like 2011, 10, 2010 probably. Twenty thousand is not the price for anybody. You in a tent? 
$20,000, you know what kind of tent you can get? How you know I don't own that 7-Eleven? That's what I thought. Anyways, six figures at least. Man, how do we know that guy wasn't hired by the Illuminati? Huh? I, don't, I don't know who he was. And he was like, All you know I what? knew is when I turned it down, his profile picture changed, and I was like, oh, okay. Because like, when he initially hit me, it was one dude with a with a baseball cap on, you know, looking regular. I was like, mm. all right. Then when it, then when he revealed himself, the profile picture switched to three shirtless black dudes in the picture, and I was like, yo. And then I looked at the the mutual friends, and I mm. saw some other comedians that I knew on there. The fact that he like, uh, the, the Illuminati was like. Hit it with 20K. That's the max. That's yeah. just, <laughs> they figured you, you wasn't even, they was like, that's a low end mother. That's a, that that's was a, a low that end. That was a lot of money for like a no name comedian. I was like, it was it was creepy though. Anyways, do you guys think the Illuminati is just like, you know, some group of cats just trying to get dirt on some celebrities, you know, get them to do some crazy things so they can use it against them? Or you just think it's a bunch of perverts? I thought it was a bunch of old white men, and apparently it's some black people in there too doing it. So I'm very upset right now. I'm heated. I might burn down my goddamn tent. So what do you yes. guys think, huh? Yes, burn the tent. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you think the Illuminati runs the industry? And do you, or do you think they're a bunch of perverts? And what's your price? I want to know what your goddamn price is. What's your price? 20K damn sure ain't the price. It's got to, I don't know what the price is, but damn it. Nobody should be offered that much, all right? So make sure you share the video with the Illuminati, all right? And everybody else in the industry. And share this video. It's a great video. And make sure you subscribe to the Tony Baker comedy page. Where you going, Tony? Would you do it for a new tent? A new tent? Think about it. It got AC in it? Yep.